Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Fates. And in this episode, we are going to get one of the last Paralog units. But before we do, Kaldori didn't really get to do too much in the previous episode, huh? Since we have an overabundance of flying units on the Hoshido side, why don't we change that a bit and turn her into a class I think she will definitely excel at. And that'll be the Spear Master. Now you're going to notice her stats aren't going to be fantastic. And you might be like, what's the point of her being a Spear Master anyways, Johnny? All will be revealed very soon. Also, I got her to a level 15 Kenshi Knight. So now she can pretty much heal everyone that's around her. So pretty much, uh, from now on, Kaldori is going to be a complete monster without a fraction of the doubt. Like, she can't get attacked from ranged units, she can't get attacked from sword units, she's gonna destroy anything that's weak to a Naginata now that she is a spirit master. And also, her personal skill, I completely forgot, is really helpful too, since sometimes you're just gonna encounter a lot of grunts in a Fire Emblem map, and Prodigy helps with dealing with that. But uh, today we're gonna be focusing on someone completely different than Kaldor. I mean, I'm gonna use her in the next chapter, but not really the main focus. The main focus is Takumi and his son, Kiragi. And yeah, remember how Saizo and his son had the worst relationship ever? I think this one is actually pretty nice, but uh, I'll save that discussion for once we actually get into the chapter. Weird. Where's my son gone to? Curse this deep room for being so big. I know I can't expect Kuragi to stay in his village all the time, but I thought at least he'd be out here hunting or fishing somewhere. Big brother! Come quick! Those creepy soldiers have followed us here! <clears throat> Which ones? The really creepy soldiers? Ugh, of all the times, Kuragi might be here too. What shall we do? They're coming toward us! Come on! We go to them. What a day! Those fish pretty much jumped into my bucket. And then there's Bayer. Couldn't have been an easier target. Wish I had bagged him a little closer to the town. Too big to lug out of here. Too big to roll home, too. Hmm. Gotta be some way. Hold on, what's that? Something's lumbering around in the forest. Hello? Hmm. Nothing. Eh. No way that's a person, anyway. Too freaky. Whatever it is. It'll make a great trophy for my wall. All right, fly straight and true, little arrow buddy. Ready, aim, fire! That was a good one! Right between the... Uh, whoa, hang on. Dots. Uh-oh. Huh. Oopsies, sorry about that. You really should have answered back. Looks like you brought your friends too. Not very chatty, are ya? Call me crazy, but I swear you're all surrounding me. Yeah. <laughs> no biggie. I've got the bow my dad gave me. Let's call this target practice. <laughs> Th there's Karaki. What's your son doing taking all the soldiers on by himself? <laughs> Hang on, Karaki. Dad's on the way. So this is Paralog who gives a dump, and uh, yeah, there's a lot of flying units. But luckily for us, we have two snipers, or well, one archer, another sniper, but soon to be two snipers, once we get Kuragi on our team and start to promote him. But yeah, this is Kuragi with Mozu's hair color. He's okay. He's pretty much just Takumi Jr. I mean, that's really all they want his character to be, but uh, outside of that, it's a really easy chapter. I like to think of it more as when uh, the same chapter that, uh, I think it was chapter 12, when we got on the boat and we got Takumi for like the first time to see battle. Yeah, kind of like that, and he's going to kick total butt, so not really too much to say about this chapter, but you're also going to see what Kaldori can do now that she is a spear master. And holy crap, she's pretty much going to be invincible. Like, nothing is going to be able to touch her in this entire chapter. So I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, enough done. Let's get started and route that enemy. So the first thing, actually, 
I'm gonna do this last, but I'm going to use a rescue rod to get Karagi over here. Because the thing about this chapter is, I assume they wanted you to use other flying units to beat everybody down. To kind of have like a flying battle. But flying units are risky and not as good as ground units, nine times out of ten. And since it's nothing but mounted units, Cadence pretty much gonna be able to one-shot half of this entire fleet of flying guys, and when he can't, Kaldori is just close by with her beast killer, and I gotta say, dude, she looks really stinking cool as a Spearmaster. Like, I understand they really wanted you to make her a, like, flying unit user, but she looks really cool on the ground, too. I don't know. Maybe that's just my stupid way of thinking things through. Um, what would be the best way to go about this? I'm thinking what I do here is I attack this Kenshi Knight with the greatest Fujiyumi user of all time! And Mozu is still technically stronger than uh, Takumi, because it's a higher level. But uh, yeah, here's the reason I haven't been using Mozu, guys. In an alternate file, I did use her, and there's just times where she would just win the entire match by herself, and I don't know if that's necessarily super interesting to watch, so that's why she's kind of just been Takumi's support, but um, if you raise her right, she is a complete monster, and wow, we're actually one damage off? What the dump? That level sucked, god damn, ah, uh, it's okay, Kana, don't worry. I called her Khan. Okay, no, that's actually her name. Um, I'm not gonna replicate. I'm just gonna knock this guy out. Okay. Pretend she just did one more damage. Okay, guys? All I'm saying. But, uh, Asugi getting another level. I plan to replicate him in this chapter as well and see how that goes. But, uh, for the time being, we are just go Hmm. Actually, I think I'm gonna use it right over here. Could I still use Rescue? on Kiragi. If we can, perfect. Okay, sweet. That should put him into the safe zone, and yes, now he can promote and be completely safe, so that's awesome. As for Kiragi himself, though, I don't know. I like the character. He's just pretty much a, like his personal skill says. He's an optimist. He's pretty much like the inverse of Takumi, but he still likes his dad a lot and just looks up to him, but uh, yeah, he's pretty much a carbon copy of Takumi since we're just gonna make him a sniper. And he is going to kill pretty much everybody. At least I... Okay, I thought I hit Sniper. I was going to be very mad at myself if I made him a Kenshi Knight. That'll be pretty dumb, boss. But, uh... As for fighting, I'm not sure... Wow, he's actually higher level than his dad. Holy dumb. I'm not sure if he's going to do too much fighting here, since really, there's not a need for it. And no, I'm not going to pair up with Kana as badly as I want to. She's just... She's pretty self-sufficient. I don't think she needs me, come to think of it. Yeah, let's just sing to Karagi and get him over here. And, uh, yeah, that was his Optimus skill. Basically, if he doesn't attack, he gets more speed and luck, but I don't think snipers ever have a problem doubling, so I don't know why that's even a thing, but, uh, yeah, we're not going to talk to him right now. To be honest with you, the dialogue's kind of boring, but, uh, higher priority is knocking down all the units, and also getting Kaldori over here, and I want to call her Cordelia so much, but <laughs> that was not her name in this game. If those are wondering, um, yeah, Kaldori and Cordelia, I don't think have necessarily, like, it's not the same person, obviously, like, they're, she's not a time traveler, it's just, I don't know, I guess she just looks really similar. And that's really my biggest pet peeve about Fates, if I'm being totally honest, and, uh, do I even want to do that? Not really, I prefer not to. I'm gonna move right here and see what happens. Uh, no, we're still being in the danger zone. Nah, that's fine. Um, my biggest pet peeve about Fire Emblem Birthright is the fact that they just reused way too many units, man. Just way too many. I just really don't like that, if I'm being totally honest. Uh, I'm gonna sit here and replicate. No reason not to, and just move everybody north. I want to move Kana as north as I can, since yet again, she's pretty much our tank. And the same with Rajat, since I want to get her, um... Definitely Quick Tonic in this turn. Because I w or this chapter, because I want to make her a Omiyuji as quickly as I can. And hopefully that'll happen soon, but, uh, yeah! Takumi's son! Me, Takumi's... Son! Takumi's son? Takumi. Takumi. Your son. Say hi to your pop, boy. Karaki. I knew you'd show up! Huh? Sorry that I got here... uh... late. You must have been scared to death. Yep. I knew you'd save me. What? Yep. But, anyway, 
You wanna go check out this big bear that I bagged, Dad? Huh. Right, big bear, nice. But uh, how about we focus on getting out of this mess alive, son? Ready for anything. Dad! Like, yeah, that, that, that's all they talk about. I don't know, it just strikes me as kind of odd if I'm being honest. And please don't go for Azura, you monster! I knew I was gonna do that, but Azura can definitely tank this attack. Zero crit, she's fine. It's just a flesh wound, really, and oh crud, this actually could be bad. 71 hit, it's a lot. Come on, dodge it, da da da! God dang it, all right. Hey, minor annoyance! Although we really gotta heal up Azura ASAP. That's becoming an issue, but yeah. That's why Kalidori's OP with Amaterasu. She just heals everybody, and that's pretty darn good by my standards. So I'm fine with that. Um, We're just gonna one-shot this guy. No reason to show it. Not even a calculated risk. But uh, yeah, now I really need to shelter Azura. So let's let's uh, heal her up with some Bloom Festival. That's good. Bring her here is a tiny bit risky since there are just so many units that can get to you so quickly. However, we should still be fine. I hope we proc Ren Heaven against this Malignite, by the way, because if we don't, it's going to take two turns to kill him, and I don't like that. Okay, we dodged it. Ren to the heavens, girl! This should do a ton of damage. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, cool. I actually thought that would do more, come to think of it, but yeah, maybe if I get a better Talisman, although the Horse Spirit is actually turning out to be pretty darn good, so I guess I'll hang on to it for a little bit longer, but yeah, I'm not afraid even remotely in this chapter. I'm just gonna push as, like, south as I can. No real reason not to. I'm gonna be a little careful with my snipers, though. I don't want them to be in any, like, severe danger. And where is Cordelia? There she is. I'm just gonna sit near her and get 20% back. Okay! Enjoy your death sentence. Uh, I don't know why you'd ever try to fight a fox man. Kinda dumb. Throwing that out there, but this chapter, man, I don't know, I dig it. I, I, I'm honestly thinking about it a lot, and every time I've been outdoors, I think I really did enjoy it. Like, as a kid, I never got to go camping, but there was this one time I went on like sort of a wilderness trip, and it was so much fun, man. I caught like a bunch of fish, and I just, I don't know, maybe I just, maybe I'm just a sucker for fishing or something, but man, I wish I did that more often. The problem is, like, and this may sound like I'm complaining or something, but when you become a Let's Player, you're basically saying, I'm not gonna go outside as much, because if you guys knew how much time I put into this game and how much editing I did, you'd be like, oh, goodness, that's not healthy, John. And I agree, I know it, but, you know, it kind of comes with the territory, sort of, but, oh, well. Some artists suffer for their art. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. Um, let's see. Who do we want to... What's the best way to do this? I'm feeling... That wanna be a bit oh man, wow, we really can't finish this guy off in one hit. I know Cordelia is strong. Like her strength could be a tiny bit. I'd run if I were you. Yeah, I'm uh I'ma take that back. Oh my gosh. Well Yeah, once she gets a really strong Naginata on her though, she's going to be pretty darn strong. Man, I love that sprite for her. Just I don't know, it looks cool. She has her little headband and everything. I don't know, I dig it, but uh let's think. I definitely want Rajat to go over here. No reason not to. That'll be an easy two-hit KO. Run Heavens did no additional damage, and that's okay at the end of the day. But now we're level 15 with her, and now we get the skill I've wanted for so long. Awesome. Now we can probably change class to Omiyuji, get um, Talisman Flare, whatever the dump it's called, and then be done with her, and she'll pretty much be at her full build. Obviously, you could make a way better Rajat, pretty much give any character that has even slightly, like the slightest amount of skill, they need Astra. Astra's that good. All I'm saying is, it's pretty stupid. Um, Silver Shuriken is going to be a definite KO. Nice corn, get the attack stance. I'm trying to use more attack stance because I realize if I just don't use it, these chapters are going to be way too easy. Like if I just use my S ranks and just plow through the rest of the game, honestly, It'd be kind of boring for you guys. Like, I'm starting to notice some people are saying, like, oh no, Joe, you can use Corn. He's stinking your best character. It makes sense you'd use him. And I understand he's the main character, but I, with this Let's Play, I really do want to, like, make sure every single character, excluding Renka, because I can't make her good, has a little bit, like, a cool, like, a one chapter where, we're like, dang, that guy was the MVP. 
And I, I always say that, and I made, like, Rinka debatably one of the worst classes in the game. And I know I'm just going around saying, like, all the time, Well, this is the worst class. This is actually the worst class drawn. It's like, dude, I don't know, man. I'm stupid. I don't think I'll play this distinct game. I'll admit it. <laughs> I mean... Really, when it first came out, did any of us know what we were doing? No, I definitely did not, but... Oh well, we live and learn, hanging on to the edge of tomorrow. And then I figured out about the Mechanist, and now I'm just like, okay... I'm pretty OP with this. Um, let's hope we get lethality, or really anything, because I just want to soften this guy up so Cordelia can get the finishing blow. That's really all I want. I don't know what I'm going to do with the Malignite, though. Actually... What would be the smartest way to do this? And I want Azura closer. Dang it. Okay. Let's think about this. I can get Kiragi, actually. Oh, man. That's actually really good with Azura. Because he's going to get the proc of that. But he can still attack the same turn that he got it, dude. Yo, that's OP, man. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to knock down this guy with his Iron Yumi. Like, if Kiragi had his own legendary weapon, he'd be better than Takumi. Just because of growth rates and stuff. But... He doesn't, which kind of makes him not so great. Like, I don't know why you'd pick him over Takumi, ever. So I can't really recommend him. I tried to make him good, though. I made sure that Mozu got at least seal strength, because if he does get counter, like, attacked, he at least has that to fall back on. And we should get, yeah, seal defense. Do we want this, though? After combat reduced, mm. Honestly, I like air superiority a bit better. Especially for this chapter. So I'm going to hang that. Uh, I'm just going to keep that on Cordelia. And really, I'm just waiting to get the spear fair. And then once I get that, we're pretty much good. Does anyone need healing? Holy crap, we're just, we're just destroying this chapter. Maybe I shouldn't have leveled up Cordelia that much. <laughs> but really, with Takumi and his son, you're just not going to struggle here even remotely so yeah so far it's pretty much like the enemy's so dumb they should have just blitzkrieged us all at once but they didn't like think about it if they didn't have like aggro range in this game they could just kick our butts and we couldn't do anything about it like they just swarm us i mean actually um, if, they, if you get boxed in as an archer though you kind of are screwed so i guess that's why they didn't want to do it in the, like, sense of the game. They just want to, like, you know, the players of the game not to get overwhelmed. But seriously, if I was commanding these invaders, I'd just be like, rush them! Because you outnumber them. Chances are, the archers can only shoot one arrow at a time. You know? You just win, straight up. But, I don't know, maybe their tactics are a bit better. And I really need to give, um, Asugi a better shuriken. I should probably just steal all of his dad's ones, come to think of it. But, I don't know, I want to use Saizo too, but... You can't have two Sizos. The crit's coming out. That's gonna do 33. And then we'll get the retaliation. Can you believe until today I did not know how much crits and Fire Emblem did? Because I was playing Shadow Dragon one time, and I could have sworn it was 2.5. But I don't think it is. I'm not too sure. Like, did they change? No, I'm because I'm pretty sure since Famicom Wars, it's always been, you do triple damage. I don't really stink, I know. But then again, I realized how many games have been, like, able for me to access. Like, I was like, man, I'm really digging Fates. I wonder what other cool Fire Emblem games there are. And I looked on eBay for Radiant Dawn, and I was like, wow, that's uh, $200 for a GameCube game. Hey, uh, Nintendo, you want to put that in the eShop, my boys? <laughs> uh, they probably will someday, but I want to play it now, man. And people are saying that, like, the sequel to that, which is Path of Radiance, is, like, the best Fire Emblem game ever. Like, it's even better than this game, even though its support system is kind of not that great. Although, to be honest with you guys, I don't really play Fire Emblem for the support. It's like... I'm gonna be honest, I am loving the story of this game so much. Just the fact that it's like, the march to King Garen's throne room. God, I love stuff like that in games so much. Just like, basically the final boss syndrome. Games without final bosses have always been just kind of meh in my mind, you know? And just, uh, I just love this game so much. It's just, we're so close to Garen, man. And wow, can no one kill this chick? Holy crud, man. I guess the replica's gonna have to do it. My goodness. Good. Like, come on. I know Falcon Knights are... T oh, it's level 20. Never mind. I was like, dang. Why, did, why are some of these Falcon Knights just so ridiculously tanky? I don't get it, but, uh... Yeah, I don't know, man. 
I'm digging the story so much for this game. It's just, you know, games where it's like, okay, we gotta climb the tower, and at the top, there's gonna be this giant monster, and it's like, holy crud, the whole time you're just going there, and that's basically what Garen is. He's this giant monster, if you think about it. So I don't, I don't know, I just love that dynamic so much. It's such a cool thing that video games can do, man. I love video games. <laughs> Although, I probably play them a little bit too much, and Malignite wants to tussle. I'm fine with that because, uh, yeah, you d you're not gonna hit. And I also had the skill that makes it to where you probably weren't going to do that much damage anyways, so... Whatever, but yeah, I'm trying to just get this chapter over with, which is why I'm overextending a b Holy dump! God dang. Yeah, there's no reason to use Saizo anymore, guys. I'm sorry! I'm sorry if you wanted Saizo more. His son is just too good now that he's a, uh, stinking... just... Now that he has Duplicate, dude, the game's over. Like, legit. But he, between him and Korn, like, Asugi's definitely one of my most powerful units because I don't know if I've even used his personal skill yet. But basically, if he waits, he gains 5 HP. And if we do that twice, he gains 10. So just think about that. That's a lot of passive healing we can do and abuse the Replicate. And if we ever have a chapter where there's fortresses, or just any area to heal, it's over, man. Speaking of this chapter, it's actually almost over. Holy crud, we demolished this one. Um, I'm fine with that, though. Let's actually think about our turns, though. That was an obvious play to make. I need to get Rajat over here. But then again, she could... Okay, what's the more deadly one? That one's 12. That one... Oh, that Malignite's actually really tough. So I'm going to attack the Wavern Lord. No, I don't want to do that yet. I definitely need to attack someone with Karagi. 32 won't be enough. I have to use Azura to finish off the Falcon Knight. Oh, man, this is a little tricky. All right, so obvious play here. Actually, is that that obvious? She's not going to do a ton. Oh, man, I might have messed up a bit. Oh, goodness. I mean, we're still gonna be fine, but I still wanna have, like, the easiest time we can against all these guys. So, highest priority is obviously the boss. Takumi can easily finish off the boss. I'm not afraid of that. However, he's not in range. So, I think no matter what I do, I have to sing to him with Azura and get him into position to KO the boss in one. Oh my gosh, we can't even KO the boss in one hit. That sucks. That sucks a lot. I mean, I'm fairly confident he's going to get the crit, but at the same time... Okay, we'll save that for last. Now Azura's in danger, though, so that pretty much means we need to clear this zone in a single turn. Um, oh, we can't attack with him. Cordelia, Rajat. Rajat would do more damage. 13. That's not gonna KO, but we're not gonna take any damage, so I might as well give it a shot, right? We still have lethality that can proc, and... Close. Really close. That'll work? Um, problem solved! Although I would have liked to see lethality, that's a really cool move, and we haven't actually seen too much of it, but... Level 18 Master Ninja, holy crud! Asugi, the second we got him, has just been so powerful, I can hardly believe it. Um... Now what do we want to do? 21, that will kill. Okay, that should kill. That's not an issue. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Asugi's pretty strong, huh? Um... And I can easily knock this guy out with Corrin. And now, Azura's not even in the danger zone. So, I'm really overcomplicating this at this point. It's really already over, but I was a little worried about the Falcon Knight to the north. So, we're gonna get a clean sweep here with Raja. Hopefully she'll proc Ren Heaven. My girl. My girl! Not literally. Some people thought I uh, I liked Raja a lot. No, it's just a stat thing, guys. I promise. In fact, if you guys really want to know my favorite... Fire Emblem character, just as far as, like, sheer, like, best girl material, like, my favorite character in terms of that, it would most definitely have to be. And yeah, that's why she's my favorite. Honestly, I just like her so much, and I know that's nerdy to admit in a video, but hey, whatever. Let's hope Takumi gets the crit. Hopefully he does. No, oh, wow, he actually didn't double. Unfortunate. Although, I'm not honestly that threatened of an enemy that has one HP remaining. Huh. What do we do now? Well, I obviously have another rescue I can use on Azura. So let's just do that to be on the safe side. 
and yeah, the battle's pretty much won, man. Oh no, rescue broke. What are we gonna do? Oh no, it's the end of the world. Not really. So yeah, this uh, chapter with Cordelia, not too bad. I'm just gonna not risk anything though. Let's just pair up Kana and Corn. Why the heck not? And just sit around here. So I'm very curious what the enemy is going to do. 12 damage on Takumi. It hit, unfortunately. Not the end of the world, though. This could be... Oh, wow. It's actually not. So, yeah, no matter what we did, we won. Um, <laughs> this game, dude, it's actually been pretty nice to me with RNG. Um, is Horse Spirit the best here? Yeah, it pretty much is. Hopefully, we get a Ren Heaven proc. If we don't, it's not the end of the world. Come on. Come on. Come on. Proc it. Proc it. I just... Uh, come on, Raja. God dang it. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Let's just let's just end the battle with style. Now I can't believe he didn't double there, man. God dang it. But uh, yeah, Takumi got a lot of EXP from this chapter. I kind of want that because grinding up units that are bowmen uh, is kind of annoying unless you use the short bow. And even at that point, they're still really vulnerable. But yeah, let's finish things off. I gotta say though, this chapter did not get to see a lot of Karagi, but uh, hey, I had fun. And at the end of the day, isn't all that matters. Yeah, this was kind of a joke of a chapter. <laughs> Dad. No way, no way! There's no way, this is what you do every day. This is nothing. You should have seen me in my last battle when I, uh, hold on, not the best dad talk. I mean, to say son, that battles are dangerous, even deadly. Nice! Huh? So fun! So fun. It was so fun seeing you be all like, you know, yeah! Blammy! I want to be just like you, Dad. Uh, no, son. You have to stay safe here in your deep realm. Hey. But we had a blast, didn't we? Yeah, I'm coming with you for sure. What? No, you're not. I put you here to keep you out of the war. Well... You have to admit, he was a chip off the old block there. Sister. That's not helping. Wow. Two against one. Done deal. Yeah, Dad? Yeah? Two against... Ugh. Fine, I guess. How could I say no to a face like that? Yay! For my face. I swear, I won't let you down, Dad. Oh, hey. Wait. The other thing. The bear I shot. Dad, Dad, it was amazing, Dad! I got it in one shot! <laughs> I bet it was, son. And thanks to you, our camp will feast on bear stew! Bear stew. Yeah, I don't understand how Takumi's just like, I put you here to be safe, but I wanna go. Okay, let's fight, cause this game makes no sense with its children recruitment, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that episode. I don't see how it was even remotely entertaining because you knew I was probably not going to lose anybody because our units are very overpowered. But there's one paralog left, and some call this one the most difficult ever. Can we defeat it? Most likely. Anyways, hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in the next episode where we finish the last paralog on the Hoshido side. I'm not taking into account conquest. Shut the heck up. See you guys in the next episode. Bye.